because that next generation uh, is already coming. Uh, they're already knocking on the door. A couple of weeks ago, I got a chance to meet the winners of the Google Science Fair. Uh, I want to point out that all three of them were girls. Uh, and they had beat out... <laughs> that. They had beat out 10,000 other applicants from over 90 countries. Uh, so I had them over the Oval Office, and they explained their projects to me, and I pretended that I understood. <laughs> One of the winners, uh, Shri Bose, did her first experiment in second grade by trying to turn spinach blue. Uh, in fourth grade, she built a remote-controlled garbage can. And for this science fair, at the age of 17, she discovered a promising new way to improve treatment for ovarian cancer at 17. Uh, and she also told me very matter-of-factly that she'll be going to medical school and getting a doctorate, uh, and I suspect she will do so. Uh, she did not like confidence. And it's, it's, it's young people like Shri, but also uh, the people on this stage uh, who make me incredibly hopeful about the future. Uh, even at a time of great uncertainty, their stories remind us that there are still discoveries waiting to be made and unlimited potential waiting to be tapped. Uh, all we have to do is encourage it and support it. So I want to congratulate today's honorees for their extraordinary and inspiring work. Uh, we could not be prouder of all of you. And now it is my privilege to present the National Medals of Science and the National Medals of Technology and Innovation.